Dave's Brew Tube Beer Review. Well, look at what we got in front of us here, guys. We've got a beer from Jack's Abbey Brewing Company out of Framingham, Massachusetts, US of A. Yay, yay. And what beer do we have in the glass in front of us? We've got their Hopstitution. Now, what is Hopstitution? Hopstitution is an extra pale ale. This beer clocks in at 5.5% ABV, and I don't know what the IBUs are. Now, why are they calling Hopstitution? Because it's like substitution, but Hopstitution, each time they're going to change the hops that are in the brew, and they're using experimental hops each time. This one's got HBC, 344, 241, 402, stuff like that in it. That's They gave me a bunch of numbers, so I don't know what the hops are called. They probably don't have any name yet, but... I came off the lawn, I said, man, I gotta crack me open a beer. I grabbed this bad boy and I put it in the glass and said, shit, I haven't reviewed that beer yet. It's the only one I have. And where did I get this beer? I got it from our good buddy, Average Joe. Thanks a million to you, Joe. Awesome, my brother. I really appreciate you sending me this beer. So, anyways, let's get the appearance on it. We already have it poured. As you can see, it's poured a slightly hazy yellow color. We got a solid, rock solid, one finger head of super tight bubbles in there. Lots of active carbonation coming up from the bottom. It looks almost kind of like a wit beer in the glass, don't you think? When you swirl it, you can see you get an instant glass lacing clinging up on that glass, and actually a little bit of alcohol legs as well. So I've already smelled and tasted this, but let's tell you about it now. Let's t check out the aroma together. Damn, right up front, lots of tropical fruits. Papaya, mango, a bit of pineapple, a little bit of peachiness in there, and I'm getting sweetness like, say, like honeysuckle sweetness from the malt. A little bit of herbal grassiness in there as well as, let me see, really really slight dankness. Smells awesome. I've already tasted it and now I'm going to taste it for you and let you know what it is together. Cheers! Damn. I tell you what, when I came off of that, off the lawnmower and I came in, I cracked this and put this in the glass and drank some of it Man, about knock my socks off. This beer has a nice medium mouth feel, semi-dry finish, and right up when you taste it, man, it hits you with that tropical fruit. You get pineapple and mango and peach like right up front. And then after that, you're getting that herbal flavor and that honeysuckle sweetness I was talking about with a dry finish that invites you to drink some more like this. Man, that's a damn tasty beer. Jack's Abbey is quickly, I've had like three of their beers so far, is quickly becoming like my favorite American lager producer. This is a spot on beer. It's crisp, clean. The carbonation isn't too much. It's right there. It's active and zippy like it's supposed to be in a lager. And this is a really easy drinking beer. This is what a sessionable hoppy beer should be like. I know they call it an extra pale ale. You can call it a, you know, IPL, whatever you want to call it. These session IPAs and session ales that are putting out that are supposed to be hoppy should taste like this. It's got to have enough malt to support the hops that are in there. If not, it's, you might as well just chew on a hop cone or go scrape the zest of an orange off or a grapefruit off with your teeth, you know, in my opinion. But this beer drinks awesome. It's got, like I said, it's got even got some dankness in the flavor and like the aftertaste. And I love dankness in a hoppy beer. So... How do we grade a beer like this? At time of recording, Rate Beer doesn't have a grade. Not that I really care because Rate Beer doesn't really do that great of a job in grading things in my opinion, but that's me. Beer Advocate gives it an 87. I can see some folks giving it 87, but I'm going to grade it higher than that. I'm going to give this a 92. I think it's a really solid A- minus beer. I'd love to have this on tap, or this is a great candidate to be a canned beer, just like this one. So, you know what? Just an awesome beer that I would drink again. Joe, thanks a million for sending this. Jack Abbey just rocks. Makes me want to drink this one tonight, too. Who knows? Maybe I will. Anyways, so, to the next DJ's Brew 2, we got to talk about something really important. we got to talk about thinking globally and drinking locally and supporting the craft beer movement and also supporting your buddies out there in craft brew world, like me and my buddy Joe. You know, we do a little trading together. If you got somebody who's a home brewer in your life, support them, too. Hit them all with a little dough, and maybe they'll crack off a couple beers for you after they make something. Because that's awesome. That's what this whole craft beer community is about. Supporting each other, keeping the variety coming, and guys helping guys like Jack at, Jack's Abbey keep putting awesome beers out like this, man, because they're knocking these German-style lagers with American twist, I think, out of the park. So, to the next time, guys, thanks a million to each and every one of you for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, hit the like button. You know what to do. <sighs> and until then, I got nothing but a whole bunch of love for you and a big ass. Peace out!